Sir, can an Indian avoid totally allopathy and rely on Siddha and Ayurveda? You see, unfortunately, the practitioners of Siddha and Ayurvedic medicine, they are degenerated in following the discipline which is imposed upon them as an Ayurvedic doctor. An average Siddha or Ayurvedic doctor is supposed to spend at least 30 minutes in worshipping the holy feet of uh, the teacher who taught him that medicine. Another half an hour he must spend for meditating upon Dhanvantari if he is an Ayurvedic doctor, Lord Shiva if he is a Siddha doctor. But these doctors, they don't uh, seem to spend that much of time. Thirdly, Preparation of medicine according to the books prescribed. Books lay down very great prescriptions. When a book instructs you to prepare a medical oil in an iron vessel, you must do that, you must obey. If you use a brass vessel, that oil will not be as effective as before. So even the smallest instruction must be followed strictly. But nowadays these doctors don't do it. They prepare medicine at a large scale, at wholesale. This won't give you uh, accuracy of curing. And even in plucking the herbs, the Shastras say some ceremonies must be followed. No doctor seems to follow it. So in modern days, Siddha medicine and Ayurvedic medicine is much, very much degenerated. When that is so, how can you simply keep aside allopathy and rely upon Siddha and Ayurvedic medicines? We do find that many people are complaining that Ayurvedic or Siddha medicine is not as efficient as allopathy in curing some diseases. It's all because of that. That's a very poor condition and that state must change.